Hey, college coaches, this is Coach Anthony Williams, founder and CEO of Connected Athletics. We are a startup company based in Austin, Texas, and we're focused on using the technology platform to enable student athletes to build their network as they go through the recruiting process. We also want to help student athletes better connect with college coaches during the recruiting process because of this existing COVID-19 uh, recruiting cycle that ran, everything's out of whack. And so we want to give these athletes a chance to share their voice and tell these coaches who they are on and off the field and what their goals are for football as they transition into college. We're mainly focused on making sure that student athletes successfully transition from high school to college and then into a career either in football or in their major. We've got a really exciting prospect uh, with us today. Uh, Keaton Altman is a class of 21 offensive lineman. He's got tremendous size, he's 6'5", 280 pounds, strong GPA of 3.2. He was all district and he's a two-time academic all district at Brenham High School. Keaton, how you doing this afternoon? I'm good, coach. Can't be, can't be much better. I mean, I'm as good as it can be right now, I guess. Uh, man, I like, I like the attitude, man. Yeah, definitely a lot to be thankful for. It looks like we're going to get into this high school season. A lot of districts are uh, announcing opening up back for uh, strength and conditioning and, and games here in 1A and 4 next week. So I'm excited to hear more about your story as we get ready for the upcoming season. Let's just jump right in. Uh, Keaton, a lot of coaches want to know about academics first and foremost. Tell us about the importance that you put on your academics. Oh, academics has always been important in my family. Uh, my grandma, she's a counselor for the school. She's worked for the school district her whole life. Uh, my mom's a school teacher, so they are always on me uh, every single day, homework, homework, tests, whatever. If I have a test, I'll go out with my grandma. I'll study with her. Um, so they harp on that a lot. Uh, I always, if I make a bad grade, it's on like that, like uh, whatever, what is it called? Um, parent portal, that's what it is. Yep. Uh, yep. Parent portal, they're on it right away. They're on me. Um, but academics is huge because, I mean, without academics, I mean, yeah, you have football, but academics definitely comes first. It's before anything because yeah, football, it doesn't last forever, obviously. Right. Um, so, I mean, you have to find a good career. Um, I personally am looking at architectural design, maybe engineering, something in there. Um, so, yeah, school is very important, especially with those fields. Absolutely. Well, tell us, uh, with a strong GPA, uh, do, what are some of your favorite subjects? What classes do you excel in? Oh, my favorite subjects, I would go with uh, physics for sure. Physics, I don't know why, but uh, physics is really fun for me. Um, math, I'm not a big math guy, but if I had to choose my uh, favorite, uh, favorite two classes, it would be physics and uh, history. Okay. Full disclosure, tell these college coaches a little bit about some of the classes that you struggle in, that you need to get help in. What are those? Uh, classes I struggle in would definitely be math. Math is probably my hardest subject, but I'm trying to get better at it. I'm trying. <laughs> um, and then my, that's really the only uh, subject I struggle in. English is fine. I mean, everything else is fine. It's just math. I don't know why, but that's when I struggle in the most. No, there's, and there's nothing wrong with that, Keaton. And, and the thing, the reason why I asked that question is that college coaches want to know that so they can, when you do get back on campus or during the recruiting process, they can talk to you about some of the help they're going to be able to provide from a services standpoint at the university to help you get stronger in math. And that's what they need to know that stuff. So I appreciate your, your honesty in that. Hey, tell us, um, you know, coaches want to understand your, their, uh, their players' learning style. Tell these coaches, are you more of a verbal, visual, or hands-on learning style? Uh, I would say I'm a visual and hands-on. Uh, verbal, it it kind of confuses me a little bit. If I can see it and then I can do it after, then I'm on it like that. Perfect. Is it the same in the classroom and on the field, or are you different in, in either environment? Uh, on the field, it's definitely more uh, physical than visual. And then in the classroom, it's more visual, too. Also physical, though, you know, hand me a sheet of paper, practice sheet, whatever. After that... Because I can ask – while I'm doing that, I can ask questions. I can, you know, get the right answer, and it helps me a lot. So definitely both in the classroom and on the field. As a former player and coach myself, I've been telling kids for over 20 years that football should be an enabler to get the best college education you can get. Uh, tell these coaches – you mentioned it earlier, but tell these coaches what is it you want to major in when you get to college. Uh, definitely something around architecture or engineering, either one. Um, I know – I've seen some colleges, they don't offer it, offer architecture a lot. Um, but definitely architectural design or uh, mechanical or petroleum engineering. So those are my three. 
So we have a lot in common. I'm actually an engineering major and uh, degreed. I actually started wanting to be an architectural engineer. Then I went to mechanical and then I ended up being an electrical guy and working in high tech in Silicon Valley for many years. So uh, uh, it's, it's hard, I'll tell you, Keaton, to be a student athlete and be an engineering uh, degree, but you can do it. And so I, I know that you have the drive uh, because you're football talented to be able to do both. Uh, tell us a little bit about, um, you know, at Brenham High School, if there's any teachers or counselors or coaches or APs that have had an impact in your academic life that you want to shout out right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, Miss Koshin, she was my English teacher freshman year. She retired this past year. And uh, every day when I walk in the hallway, it's, Keaton, come give me a hug. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, so she's she's awesome. She's an awesome lady. She's supported me since I've gotten into high school. She comes to all the games, talks to me all the time about anything. She's been there for me and my sister even when she was in high school. So really, she's she's the main one. Uh, Miss Colby, my physics teacher, um, she's awesome, just an awesome person. She she's helped me so much because at first I struggled with physics. It's, it was not my strong subject. And then, you know, I went in for tutoring, and eventually, I mean, now it's my best grade in on my uh, report card. So, I mean, they, those two are definitely uh, my top two. And then, obviously, third uh, is Coach Allen, my head football coach. He's helped me through the recruiting process because he, he's dealt with big guys. Um, so, he's, he's definitely helped with uh, just talking to coaches, learning how to talk, um, just being personable and, uh, and everything like that. Also, my offensive line coach, he's, he's taught me everything. I mean, I didn't come in playing offensive line. I played tight end my freshman year. I didn't really know anything about it. He came in, he taught me all the techniques. He's got me big. So, I mean, uh, all the thanks is to them. They've put me in the position I am in today. No, that's great. I appreciate you shot those people out. It's good to let people know that they made a difference in your life. And it sounds like those teachers and coaches have made learning fun, which is uh, what, how you uh, grasp a lot of the, uh, the subject matter. Hey, let's switch over to talking about you personally. Let the coach know about you personally. Tell us a little bit about your family. Uh, you, you mentioned your grandmother and your mom work at the school, but give us a little background about your family, are you an only child? Are you the oldest, the youngest? Give us a little bit of background. Uh, I'm not an only child. I have a sister. She uh, She's older than me. She goes to Sam right now. She actually left three days ago. Four, mm -hmm. Three days ago. Uh, she had her first day of school uh, yesterday. So she's liking it up there. She is 20 years old now. She's going to be a sophomore up there. So uh, and then my dad, he works at Valmont. Me and him, he's he's my rock. We We rock together everywhere. He takes me to all the camps. He's he's big on football. He's always been the uh, the guy in my life that uh, has helped me through anything, uh, even not even sports wise, just life wise. Um, he's been that solid dude, and uh, he's he must not he might not know much about football, but he will push me. I can tell you that much. <laughs> even in, when I played baseball, still he was just on me all the time. Hey, you need to do this, this, and this. You need to go work on this. Uh, you're looking a little slow right here. So he's awesome, and he's just an awesome person. And my mom, obviously, big person in my life. She does everything for me. If without her, I, I don't know what I'd do, honestly. Because I mean, I don't. I can't. It's hard to explain. But she's just. She helps me with everything. She makes life easier. And then my grandma, I can't even put into words how much I should thank her. Just she's done so much for me. And even my cousin, she's with school wise. She's helped us so much. I mean, I'll go out to her house all the time. I'll just spend time with her because uh, she got she divorced her husband uh, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. So I'll go out there and just spend time with her just because I mean, she, she gets lonely sometimes. But I love her to death. She's awesome. And that, that's pretty much my family. No, I mean, everybody loves her family. But I, I love that you can hear the passion in your voice that you, you and your family are close and support each other, and that, that's important when you're going to college. You have to have that infrastructure and that support to be a successful student athlete, so thanks for sharing that. Hey, let's talk about you personally. Uh, when you're not working out, you're not playing football, uh, what are some of the things you like to do in your uh, hobbies-wise or in your spare time? You like to hunt, like to fish, you out in the water, what do you like to do? Oh, yeah, I fish all the time. And then uh, we have a boat we'll take out to Lake Somerville about 15 minutes down the road. I'll play video games with my friends a lot. And then just working out more, honestly, because we'll they'll come over around three thirty. We'll work out till six, maybe come inside, eat, get on the game with them for a while, and go to sleep. That's pretty much my basic routine throughout the week. And then weekends, I'll go, I'll drive out to my grandma's house because she's got a pond, and I'll go fishing out there. My dad will be like, "Hey, let's take the boat out. We'll go to the lake." 
uh, just stuff like that. I mean, that's pretty much all I do. I don't, I don't do much, but <laughs> that's about it. Okay. You mentioned video games with your friends. Are you a Madden 2K guy, Call of Duty, Fortnite? What are you playing? Oh, I'm, I'm definitely a big Madden guy. I, I've okay. played, I've played in a couple tournaments. I can say that I've won a couple, but uh, I'm big Madden. Uh, I'll play Call of Duty, um, but mostly Madden though. I'll say that mostly Madden. Keaton, tell these college coaches how you balance the little free time that you have with still being a good student and a good athlete. Uh, honestly, it's it's a lot easier than a lot of people think, but it is hard though because uh, even when when school starts, I, I mean, I get up at seven, I'll go in for a treatment before school, just ankle prevention, knee stuff like that, just to keep myself healthy. Uh, I go to school all day. We'll have football after school. I'll get home. I'll make sure I have I have my homework done because if I don't, then my mom's going to get mad at me. So I'll make sure I have that done. Uh, and once that that time is probably 5.30, I'll chill out for a little bit, eat dinner, and I probably got about like two or three hours just to do whatever. So, I mean, uh, I've, I've gotten a little routine down, I guess, because uh, at first, my sophomore year, when they first put me on varsity, I was just like just everywhere. I was mind balls like I – I don't know when to do this and that. I didn't have much free time. I mean, I wasn't really used to it. So I asked the seniors, and uh, they, they, they helped me out a lot. Um, yeah, I kind of have a routine now. So it's gotten easier over the years. I know in college, though, uh, my cousins have told me that the free time is very, very minimal. Yeah. So I'm just preparing myself for that. Yeah, I can tell you from somebody who's been there, obviously uh, the most important thing to, for success in college is time management. And it sounds like you already have the system in place for high school. But, yeah, it, get, it gets harder and there's less free time in college. So, but you, you, you definitely got your head on straight, and I think you'll do, you'll do fine there. Um, tell us, you know, as these college coaches recruiting takes place online, tell us uh, which apps you're using that these coaches can reach out to you. Are you a Twitter guy, Instagram, TikTok, Snap? What do you, what do you spend time in? Uh, I'm definitely uh, all Twitter. I don't uh, really talk to any coaches on Instagram or TikTok or Snapchat, but I'm pretty much all Twitter. I'll, me and my mom will sit down, and I'll just sit here and send out my film and videos to anyone. I'll, I'll bring, I'll get my computer, I'll whatever school I want to send to. I'll look it up, get the coach's Twitter handle or number, and I'll just I'll send, 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 just to get myself out there, just to put myself yeah. out there, you know, to get them to know me. Just even if they're not gonna even look at me at first, maybe I can get my name in their head, play really good this season, and they're like, oh, this kid sent me his stuff a while ago. You know, let me. Yep. Let me hit him up and let me talk to him. So, I mean, that that's what I've been doing. Uh, very smart strategy there. Hey, tell these coaches, uh, what are your favorite uh, music artists? Uh, what, are your, what, what kind of music you like listen to when you're working out or pregame? What kind of guy? What kind, who are you listening to? Uh, I'm really anything. I mean, rap for sure, hip-hop, R&B, country. Uh, I, can, I can do anything. I'm, I'm the guy in the friend group that has to play the music all the time. So I've kind of op- I've kind of expanded my range of music. Uh, the main guys, if I could do a top three, uh, that's hard. I I might have to go. Oh, man, this is hard. <laughs> three guys. I might have to go five. Five. I would say Parker McCollum, uh, Polo G. Juice World. Oh, I don't want to mess up. That's a pretty good variety so far. Oh, I'm trying to think of uh, one of the R R and B artists I listen to. I can think about. It. I'll just leave those those three right okay. now. Okay. That gives us an think idea. Of <laughs> okay. Hey, as as we're getting ready to hopefully come out of this COVID nineteen pandemic and get get you ready for school and getting out of the house, uh, what's your shoe game looking like? Are you a big shoe guy or no? Uh, I wish I was a sneakerhead, but I'm really not. I don't. I don't think I have the bank account to be a sneakerhead. I wish I was, but uh, I'm just rocking a lot of Adidas now. I don't know why. Okay. I, I was a big uh, a Nike guy. I still have some Nike shoes, but I've been rocking a lot of Adidas now. Um, I've been looking for some new Jordans, but I haven't found any I like yet. Okay. Uh, I'm not a big shoes guy or ones. Uh, I'm not. A, I'm not big on. I kind of like the 11s. I've been looking, but I haven't found anything I. I was like, oh, I want to buy that. I haven't found anything that caught my eye yet. Okay, get that. Hey, tell these coaches, uh, who, do you have a favorite actor, actress, author? What book have you read? Uh, give us a little bit about the, 
uh, what do you do in your spare time there? Oh, favorite actor is by far Adam Sandler. I, I can't okay. beat that guy. Yeah. By far my favorite actor. Um, books, I, I'm be honest, I don't read many books. Uh, I used to when I was a kid. I read all the time, but recently I really haven't read any books. Uh, movies? Ooh, that's tough. No, we're watching like, a lot of Netflix right now. Maybe a mini series that you've uh, you binged on, or what, what have you what have you seen recently on Netflix? You'd be like, yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, I mean, I watched The Last Dance. The Last Dance is pretty good. Yeah. Um, it's called Longmire. Have you ever watched it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Longmire. Longmire is pretty show. good. Yeah. Um, um, movie wise, Pulp Fiction. I, I watched that for the first time a while ago. Uh, wow. um, the Django. The Django is a good movie. Yeah. No, those are probably my best ones I've watched during a okay. point. Give me your all-time favorite football movie. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> oh, that's hard. Oh. Remember the Titans, it, Train it, Day, be, uh, Any it, Given Sunday. It's got to be – I think it has to be Remember the Titans. I think it has yeah, to It's be. hard not to go against that one, yeah. It's hard to pick over that. Yeah, I was just – actually, yesterday I was watching – there was a movie called uh, Draft Day with Kevin Costner. I don't know if you remember that about three or four years ago. Uh, it talks about mm-hmm. the whole day of being in the draft. So it was a pretty good movie. So, And speaking of that, let's say you have a, a great three or four years in college and you find yourself in New York City at the NFL draft waiting for the commissioner to call your name. Who is sitting with your sitting with you at your table waiting for your name to be called? Oh, uh, by far my mom, dad, sister, and definitely my grandma. Probably the people I already talked about, just because they're the people I've been closest with my whole life. Maybe uh, one of my cousins, because me and him, uh, I didn't talk to my cousins very much when I was younger. Actually, we weren't very close. Uh, but when it hit about when I was like seventh, eighth grade, me and uh, my, I guess I can say not young. He's my older cousin, but he's the youngest of his brothers. Mm-hmm. so me and him we were like that best friends we still are i mean even though he's four hours away whatever it is uh we're still really close oh and about the movies i did remember one i think it's called greater about the offensive lineman oh, you ever yeah. watch them yeah yeah yep. i think that those two would be my top two those would be okay my top two. good choice good choice hey tell us a little bit about uh giving back to your community what, what do you do to give back are you involved in your church you guys involved in nonprofits? what are you doing to give back I actually, uh, I'm involved in my church, yes, sir. I, uh, once I got confirmed uh, last year, I, uh, they asked me to be a youth group leader there. So I work there, or not work there, but I go there and help out uh, whenever I can, whenever I have free time. Uh, usually in the fall, I don't do it just because with football, it's pretty hectic. Um, but in the springtime, I'll try to make it up there. And then actually today at 6.30, uh, me and uh, some of the football players, were going to the Youth Football League's little combine. Uh, so we're going to go and encourage them and help them out just because they, they look up to us. So we're going to go out there, show them a good time. And I don't know. They, they love it when we go out there and it's kind of fun just to mess around with them. So we're going to yeah. do that and then, uh, for the school. We'll, uh, we'll go help. Like there's a lot of new coaches that will come in. We have a lot of new coaches this year. So we'll, we'll go, we'll help them move in, uh, sit down, eat, eat dinner with them. And, uh, it is pretty fun. Uh, our co- coach Allen's uh, pretty good about putting us out there and yeah. uh, saying, hey, you know, if y'all want to do this, this, and this, you know, it looks good. So we'll do that a lot. And it, it's fun. It, I like putting, I like giving back to the community because they, they support us a lot. Yep. This football team huge, especially Brenham, just because it's a tradition town. So yeah. it's definitely one of those things where it's like, you know, I want to do this for them since they support us so much. Okay, good stuff. Hey, as we finish up here, let's finish with recruiting. So, coaches that I want to get after you with your great size and athletic ability, uh, tell us going into the season, uh, what do you consider your strengths and what are some of the things you're working on going into your senior year? Uh, strengths would definitely be I, – I think my pass blocking is one of my strengths. Um, that Because that, I've worked on that since day one. Uh, just – because my cousins harped on pass blocking, so they'd always send me drills. But hey, you know, you can do this, this, you know, set faster. Uh, so that's that. I feel like that's definitely one of my strengths. Weaknesses. Um, weaknesses. Um, uh, I'd probably say just pulling. I mean, I can like I'll pull, but uh, more or less getting my head around, find the person to block. Because I'll pull and I'll be in the hole. And I'll be looking around to see who anybody block, and he's behind me. 
So I feel like that's one of my one of the things I need to work on. Uh, I can get better at and playing and just playing more positions. Honestly, I mean I've played tackle, right tackle. I played left guard. I, I want to start playing center because I mean just give the coaches more options. So you know wherever I go, I'm not just this one position guy. If they need me, you know, at center or right guard, I could play there. Uh, that's probably one of my weaknesses. I need to work on that. I need to work on snaps. Um, so definitely those. Okay, that's good stuff. Hey, obviously there's a lot of good linemen in the class 21. Tell these coaches how do you set yourself apart? How do you differentiate yourself from other linemen in your class? No, well, I feel like I differentiate myself uh, just with work ethic. Um, you can you can call any of my coaches; they'll tell you. I'm more of a not as leader wise. I'm more of a um, let me show them how to do it, not a uh, verbal leader. So you know, if they need something done. You know, I'll go out there and I'm like, look, coach, here, let me let me show them because sometimes the coaches will be talking, they'll confuse the players. I'm like, okay, look, do this, this, and this, and I'll show them, and it helps them. So I feel like my work ethic is pretty good. I feel like it's better than some others. Uh, don't want to sound cocky, but just. I feel like it's better than some other people's. Um, a lot of people will just, you know, just be big and strong and just play, and then they'll be lazy. I feel like that's not a good way to play the game because, uh, you know, finish through the whistle, that's what everybody says. I mean, I've watched some kids, um, some kids' films, and they, they could be better. I mean, even some of the linemen at our, uh, at our school that I played with, uh, one of my one of the previous linemen I played with, I told him, like, like dude, you can be Division one athlete, it's just he was lazy. He didn't want to work. Yeah. And, I mean, now he's getting better, you know. Uh, we'll talk all the time. We'll work out together. And I'll push him. And, you know, it's just – it's more or less uh, just for me, work ethic, I feel like that sets me apart. Um, Technique-wise, I feel like I'm pretty good. I feel like I'm just as good as some of the best kids in my class. Uh, pass set-wise, run block-wise, I definitely could get better. Uh, definitely with hand placement, uh, getting on the chest plate, getting under it. I definitely feel like I can get better at that. Um, but pass walk wise, I feel like I'm just as good as anyone that I know. Okay, good stuff. Tell us uh, what's been your recruiting experience. Who are you hearing from? Who do you want to hear from? Uh, recruiting experience. I've heard from, well, I have 10 offers. I have uh, SMSU, I have UNT, Sam, McNeese State, uh, SFA, Lamar, McNeese State. Oh, I said that already. <laughs> Uh, I have friends. I mean, I'm blessed with that right now. I'm Absolutely. extremely thankful. I mean, my dream has been fulfilled. I can. I'm playing college football. My parents don't have to pay for college. That that was the goal. Um, but definitely, well, I like to get more. Just, I mean, I'm greedy. I want. I want as much as I can get. Yeah. Um, but definitely want more. And coaches. I mean, colleges. I would want to hear from. Um, my dream college is Oklahoma, but I don't see that happening, honestly. Uh, but. Uh, colleges I definitely want to hear from uh, is Miami. I, I would love to hear from Miami. Um, Arizona State, I've talked to them a little bit. I lo I've been up there once. I love it up there. I went up there on a visit. I'd uh, love to hear from them more. Um, TCU, I've, I mean, I'd love to hear from TCU just because my family's up there. Just I already know the, I already know the area. Uh, definitely SMU, I've talked to them a little bit. But I would love, love to go up there and uh, – talk to them more because Cortland Sutton went there. My mom taught him. Uh, we, we were close with his family. He said it's all he loved it there. Yeah. And he's, he had nothing but good things to say about it. So I was like, if I could play there, that'd be awesome. Uh, definitely those three schools. Okay. Um, I don't really have uh, a specific school I want to hear from. I'm kind of open to anything. Um, mm -hmm. I just said because those are the ones I've been thinking about. Um, but really, I'm open to anywhere. Okay, that's, it. that's good stuff. Hey, tell these coaches, uh, what's your criteria? What's your criteria that you're going to use to help you decide who you'll commit to uh, to college here pretty soon? Definitely, uh, coaches definitely have a big part in it. Um, yeah. If the coach can't be personable or just be real with me, just honest, then I, I don't want to play for them. Um, just I feel like honesty is a big part of it because if, if I'm not doing good, I want you to tell me. I want you to get on me and be like, hey, you need to get this right. Um, and then I feel like uh, school-wise, just if they have the stuff I want to study there, that's a big part of it. Because some schools, they don't have as many classes as, you know, other schools do. And that's a big part of it, too. Okay, good stuff. 
Uh, take this time as we finish up here. There's a lot of great talent at Brenham High School year in and year out. Uh, take this time to tell these coaches who else in your team they should be looking at. Who should you who who, who oh, watch that out right now? Definitely, they should be looking at Eric Hemphill. Dude's a dog. Dude can cover anyone I know, anyone I've seen. Fast, physical. Um, Javon Dixon. A lot of people don't know about him. He's a running back. He didn't start last year, and he rushed for 700 yards. He's our backup. He's an awesome – I think he's going to burst out this year, honestly. Um, and then anyone else? Oh, Cam Richardson. People need to watch for Cam Richardson. He uh, he didn't get much playing last, uh, last year as a junior. Uh, but, I mean, we've been working ever since we were eight years old together. And he – I think he's going to burst out this year too. So, people should watch out for him, honestly. Okay, good stuff. You and I were talking earlier, you're, you know, there's, there's four players that start playing at a very young age. Some guys told me when I started playing at flag at four and five. But your story is you kind of came into football late. Tell us a little bit about that when you started playing football. Oh, yeah. My first year of football was seventh grade. Um, I just played in junior high because my cousin's like, look, you're big. You'll be on the best team play. So <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I'll play. I can't pass it up. So I played. Uh, and seventh grade, I enjoyed it. I was like, you know, I'll think about playing this in high school because – I was big on baseball. I was like, you know, I'm playing baseball in high school. I'm going to college for baseball, whatever. Uh, so I played it freshman year. I got convinced, and I played tight end and defensive end. And that year, I just fell in love with it. I was like, you know, I'm going to try to play tight end, but that didn't happen. I was a little slow. <laughs> so, uh, and then sophomore year, they put me on varsity. And I was like, I don't know about all this because I was kind of – I was smaller. I was only 215 pounds as a sophomore, and I played off the line. I don't know how that worked out, but it did. <laughs> Um, so they put me there and really, I feel like a lot of senior, a lot of senior help, um, uh, they encouraged me and I was like, you know, this, this is kind of fun. I, Cause I, I was by uh, one of the seniors who's really, really strong. We just maul people together. It was so fun. I think that year is really when I fell in love with the game and I was like, you know, I want to make something out of this. So I started talking to my cousins about football and they're like, look, dude, you can go somewhere. They're like, you got the size. All you gotta do is gain some weight, get bigger. You can do this. So junior, going into my junior year, I think I started at like like April fifth. I gained was it forty forty pounds from April fifth wow. to the first day of two days. I was stuffing some food down, man. I could tell you that. I was trying to put some weight on. And junior year, that was a junior last year was by far my favorite year of football ever. Just because the the teammates, we were just so close. That's the closest I've ever been with anyone that I'm not family with, at least. Um, it felt like a second family, which football team should feel like that. Um, and, of course, we went through rounds again, um, and it was awesome. But, yeah, I feel like – and I was never the strongest, like I was telling you earlier. I wasn't that strong. Um, I didn't get very strong until probably uh, this off season, honestly, because last year I was just I – I was just weight. I was just weight pushing people around. I mean, mm -hmm. I wasn't very strong. I never was the strongest kid ever. You know, I was the weaker kid, and now – uh, with COVID, like I said uh, earlier, I feel like, you know, some kids it's bad for them. For me, it was good because, you know, I was I was blessed to find that half rack and some weights and start throwing it around a little bit. And uh, my, my uh, strength has just shot up from there. And uh, running-wise, agility-wise, I'm, I'm so much better than what I was. I'm not, it's not even closely compared, honestly. So that's why I'm ready for my senior year. I'm ready to show out and just show how much better I got. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that story. Hey, let's finish up here. We talked about the elevator pitch. Uh, tell these college coaches in 30 seconds uh, about what you're going to bring to their program and, and why they should recruit you. Okay, they should bring it to their program because I feel like I'll be a great leader. I'll be, I have great work ethic. If you have somebody that's not going to work, I'll push them, I'll get in their head, and I'll make them work. I'll get them better just as much as I'm getting myself better. I feel like uh, I can come and I can, we can win. Let's go win. <laughs> You know, for any program, any any level, any program, let's go win. That's the main goal is winning. So I, I'm I'm a guy who likes winning. I don't like losing. If we lose, I'm not going to be the guy. It's like, oh, you know, that's okay. No, it's not okay. Let's get back to work. Let's go to practice. Let's work on what we messed up on. Let's get better. Get ready for the next game. Let's win. Um, so, yeah, I feel like they would bring in a winner, a hard worker, and a leader. Awesome. That's a great elevator pitch. Hey, Keith, I'm excited to see you play the senior year. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely reach out to me. Uh, please continue to be safe, and uh, we'll see you on the sidelines of the game soon. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Have a great day. You too.